assembly mode by double clicking. I will right click on the main assembly components and create a brand new part. And then we'll say yes and use the same origin here. And now what we need to do is simply right click to rename this part to shaft. We'll call it drive shaft more specifically. Now double click on the yellow gear to access it. Again we will sketch on the top face this time. We will say yes. We will project this particular circle right here. And that's it. We're going to exit out of here. We're going to pad this particular sketch. And what we need to do also is to start a second direction or second limit, let's just say up to a plane, which will be this one over here. And we'll link up to it as well. As you can see, the software is forcing that down into the other direction. I'll also make this height over here 40 to make it go higher. Now we'll preview. We'll hit OK and that's my shot part being created. Uh, maybe we need to drop a chamfer onto this one. We will preview. We will hit OK and the part looks OK. Uh, probably a good chance to go in and uh, color some of your parts. So this one I need to right click the properties, go into the graphics, and make it maybe yellow. Uh, this other shaft, we probably need to make some other color. And so we will pick purple, for instance. And that's it. So let's just say we have these parts. Now we want to move it into drawing mode. Let's take it from here into drawing mode by start and clicking on drafting. The standard I want is NC, so I'm going to simply click OK onto a blank sheet. Now nothing will happen until you select the front view icon and flip to the assembly. I'll simply now pick the top face over here and we'll place the part into the middle of my sheet. Now let's simply right click properties and change the sheet size to a C size and hit OK. That will give us a larger sheet to work with and there we go. Now we can start projecting this particular part by clicking on this icon here. Nice. Now we're going to go into an isometric view. We need to flip back to the part. Let's make sure we're in isometric view. And we'll pick anywhere on the part to bring it in to our environment or our drafting workbench. Looking good. All we have to do currently is to start dimensioning this particular part. So let me go in and put a dimension here. We might need a dimension from here to there. Please note this is an assembly, so we only need overall dimensioning only. So we will simply go in and create these basic dimensions or reference dimensions from here to there. Now say for instance we need to make a design change. You need to flip back to the main assembly. And say for instance we need to change the hole size on one of the parts. So expand the basic disk and double click on one of the holes, which is the driving hole. I will change the diameter from 15 up to a 20 and we'll hit enter. I will click OK. The software will instantly update right away. I will go back to assembly mode. Any related parts to this particular part or base part will also update as soon as I hit the update button. Now the question is, will the drafting mode also update? Let's check that out. Zoom in closer. And the holes do get bigger in that case. Now, we also need to make high level changes at the base plate. So we need to flip back to the part, double click on the on the base plate, and T has this nice function of selecting a face and enabling you to look at a preview. Looks very good. We'll hit OK. Even push it further up to a seven. We'll hit OK. We will double click on the top level assembly. We'll return to part mode or drawing mode more specifically and updates to see these particular fillets being added. Now you might be wondering how can I add the bills of materials? Well that's not very difficult. Let's just go into the edit sheet background. So if you go into the edit menu you're able to edit the sheet background and now we're able to click on this particular icon and it wants to know what's your assembly so we'll flip back 
and pick it, pick it from the tree. It takes us back. We'll click anywhere. The software places your bill of material. Probably a good chance, since we are, we are in the background, to also place a title block. So how we do that is by clicking on this icon here. Give it a few seconds to load the VB script. And simply click on creation and hit OK. Katia will take care of the rest for you. And you have yourself a nice looking title block. Maybe push the bill of materials up. We'll also select go back to working views. And drag the isometric closer to the top. And we have ourselves a proper assembly. The only thing really missing is probably some ballooning. So let us go in and place some automatic ballooning. Now, it won't happen until we generate the ballooning in assembly mode. So let's return to assembly mode, generate numbering. I want integers. I'll hit OK. Done. Flip back to your drawing and select the specific tool, which is called Generate Balloons. The software will place them, as you can see here on my screen. Now, it's important to note that the frame that's active is the orange one. So if you don't want it to place onto this particular uh, one, just double click on the other uh, assembly view and generate the balloons onto that particular view. Drag your balloons into desired positions. And the assembly has been completed. So we just have to save our file using the Save Management tool. It's easy to simply click on the individual parts and save them off to their respective folders. The software propagates the directory automatically. We will hit Save. 